Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use logical operators like AND and OR in MATLAB. First, I'll introduce you to some of MATLAB's logical operators and functions. Then, I'll explain the difference between binary and unary logical operators. I'll also show you when and how to use short circuit operators. And finally, we'll work a few example problems in MATLAB. Let's get started. Logical operators are often used to combine or negate logical expressions, and thus enable the creation of more complex logical expressions. MATLAB has several logical operators and functions. Logical AND and short circuit AND, logical OR and short circuit OR, logical exclusive OR, and logical NOT. AND, OR, and exclusive OR are binary logical operators because they operate on two operands. For example, AND and OR are binary logical operators because they operate on two operands. NOT is a unary logical operator because it operates on one operand. Again, NOT is a unary logical operator because it operates on one operand. Let's take a look at the logical operator AND. If logical expression 1 is true, AND logical expression 2 is true, then MATLAB will return a value of true. In summary, if both logical expressions are true, MATLAB will return a value of logical 1 or true. Otherwise, MATLAB will return a value of logical 0 or false. Next, let's take a look at the logical operator OR. If logical expression 1 is true, OR if logical expression 2 is true, then MATLAB will return a value of true. In summary, if either logical expression is true, MATLAB will return a value of logical 1 or true. Otherwise, MATLAB will return a value of logical 0 or false. All right, let's head over to MATLAB and work a few examples. Now that we're in MATLAB, let's create a row vector and assign it to the variable a. To create a row vector, separate the elements by a comma or a space and enclose them in square brackets. A is assigned the values of 4, 7, and 1. Next, let's determine if the elements in A are greater than or equal to 0 and less than 6. We enter A, then the relational operator for greater than or equal to, then 0, then the logical operator and, then A, the relational operator for less than, and then 6. When I press enter, MATLAB returns a logical array indicating the locations where both logical expressions are true. The first element has a value of 4 which is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 6, so MATLAB returned a value of logical 1 or true. The second element has a value of 7, which is greater than or equal to 0, but is not less than 6, so MATLAB returned a value of logical 0 or false. The third element has a value of 1, which is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 6, so MATLAB returned a value of logical 1 or true. Next, let's determine if the elements in A are greater than 2 or less than 8. So we enter A, then the relational operator for greater than, then 2, then the logical operator or, then A, the relational operator for less than, and then 8. When I press enter, MATLAB returns a logical array indicating the locations where either logical expression is true. 
the first element has a value of 4, which is greater than 2, so MATLAB returned a value of logical 1 or true. The second element has a value of 7, which is also greater than 2, so MATLAB returned a value of logical 1 or true. The third element has a value of 1, which is not greater than 2, but it is less than 8, so MATLAB returned a value of logical 1 or true. So one of the unique things about the logical operator OR is MATLAB will return a value of logical 1 or true if either logical expression is true, but MATLAB will also return a value of logical 1 or true if both logical expressions are true, which leads us to the purpose of the logical function exclusive OR. The logical function exclusive OR will return a value of logical 1 or true if either logical expression is true, but not both. Let's repeat the previous example, but instead we'll use the logical function exclusive OR. The name of the function is XOR, and the input arguments are the logical expressions. The first logical expression is a, then the relational operator for greater than, then 2, then we enter a comma in the second logical expression, a, then the relational operator for less than, and then 8. When I press enter, MATLAB returns a logical array indicating the locations where one of the logical expressions is true, but not both. The first element has a value of 4, which is greater than 2, but it is also less than 8, so MATLAB returned a value of logical 0 or false. The second element has a value of 7, which is greater than 2, but it is also less than 8, so MATLAB returned a value of logical 0 or false. The third element has a value of 1, which is not greater than 2, but it is less than 8, so MATLAB returned a value of logical 1 or true. Next, let's take a look at what happens when the operands are scalars instead of arrays. Short circuit operators are used when the operands are scalars. MATLAB has two short circuit operators, AND and OR. Short circuiting stops the evaluation process as soon as the outcome is determined. So, if the value of the first operand is sufficient to determine the overall result of the expression, the second operand is not evaluated. Let's take a look at the logical operator AND with short circuiting. With the logical operator AND, MATLAB will only return a value of logical 1 or true if both logical expressions are true. So, if logical expression 1 is false, then there is no need to evaluate logical expression 2. Next, let's take a look at the logical operator OR with short circuiting. With the logical operator OR, MATLAB will return a value of logical 1 or true if either logical expression is true. So, if logical expression 1 is true, then there is no need to evaluate logical expression 2. Alright, let's head back to MATLAB and work a few more examples. Before we continue, it would be great if you could click the like and subscribe buttons below. If you would like to support the channel, leave a super thanks in the comments or click join to become a member. Alright, back to MATLAB. Now that we're back in MATLAB, let's define a scalar and assign it to the variable x. x is assigned the value of 2. To determine if x is greater than 4 and less than 10, we enter x, then the relational operator for greater than, then 4, then the logical operator and with short circuiting, then x, the relational operator for less than, then 10. 
When I press enter, MATLAB returns a value of logical zero or false. X has a value of two, which is not greater than four. Since we use the logical operator and with short circuiting, when MATLAB determined that the first logical expression was false, it did not evaluate the second logical expression, which saves computational time and resources. To determine if x is greater than 0 or less than 10, we enter x, then the relational operator for greater than, then 0, then the logical operator or with short circuiting, then x, the relational operator for less than, then 10. When I press enter, MATLAB returns a value of logical 1 or true. x has a value of 2, which is greater than 0. Since we use the logical operator OR with short circuiting, as soon as MATLAB determined that logical expression 1 was true, it did not evaluate logical expression 2. Next, let's take a look at the logical operator NOT. As a reminder, NOT is a unary logical operator because it operates on one operand. If the logical expression is false, MATLAB will return a value of true. In summary, if the logical expression is false, MATLAB will return a value of logical 1 or true. Otherwise, MATLAB will return a value of logical 0 or false. All right, let's head back to MATLAB one last time. Now that we're back in MATLAB, let's work one more example. To determine if x is not greater than 4, we enter the logical operator for not, then x, the relational operator for greater than, then 4. When I press enter, MATLAB returns a value of logical 1 or true. x has a value of 2, which is not greater than 4, so MATLAB returned a value of logical 1 or true. All right, that's it. I hope this video provided you with a good introduction to using logical operators in MATLAB. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more, subscribe below. If you would like to support the channel, leave a super thanks in the comments or click join to become a member. You can find me online and on social media at David Calamus and Spartan Professor.